Okay, so we are back with another commentary, but I'm not really going to talk too much about the workout this time. I'm kind of going to explain to you some things that have been happening with me in regards of recording in my gym. So the other day I was starting to record a back workout for YouTube and some complications came up and I was asked to stop recording. Fine, I respect people's authority. No big deal. So later in the week, I go back and I talk to the guy seeking approval to try and get, like, to be allowed to record in the gym. And he's like, yeah, it's fine as long as you don't show people in the background or you just blur out their faces or whatever if you don't get permission from them while you're recording. So I'm like, perfect, that's fine. So I've been trying to figure out for the last couple days now how to blur the background of my video, and that is what you're seeing now. So the people, I just, I'm either going to ask them in the future if like, hey, like this is going to go up on the internet, fine, whatever. And if not, then I'll just blur their face. So that's what you're seeing in these types of videos. And other than that, today was a really, really good shoulder day. And we just, we kind of kept the weight low and we did lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of sets and reps on a few just basic exercises and things were feeling pretty good. These are uh, one of my favorite right here, the machine lateral raises. I try and finish with my elbows higher than my shoulder itself to try and cap it off. And then at the end, I like to do five individual reps with one arm at a time and kind of just force blood into the muscle. So that's what you're seeing there. And then this next exercise is a front dumbbell raise. These, I think, are really good for bringing out the separation between your bicep and your shoulder. Um, it's, they're not, nothing too special about them. They're kind of hard to go heavy. They put a lot of strain on your shoulders in kind of a negative way, but I think they're a really good workout. So to build that separation between the shoulder and the bicep, the top of the bicep, your insertion point, I would definitely recommend doing these. And the only comment that I would have on them is bring it up slow and bring the weight down slow. And that'll help definitely bring that separation and build your shoulders. And here is just the last thing I'm going to show you real quick. It is just a dumbbell rear delt row, I guess you would call it. And we did about eight sets of these. And you just contract. And that's going to be it for the commentary. Hope you enjoyed.